you know, as a police officer, I think about who my role models were, and I think back to the history of the St. Petersburg Police Department. In 1963, a woman named Helen Sweat was the first female investigator hired. And then it wasn't until 1973 that two more women were hired, and they actually worked in a uniformed capacity with the police department. When I think about a nationally recognized role model, I always think of Shirley Chisholm being the first black woman to serve in the U.S. Congress and the first black person to ever run for president. My role model is uh, my mother. I think it's important for us to recognize that when we are aspiring to seek out role models and to be our best selves, that we don't necessarily have to look outside of our own uh, home or our own community, our own neighborhood, or our own city. I think the future for women in St. Pete is limitless. For the first time, we have a majority female city council. We have a really dynamic female deputy mayor. We have a female city attorney. It just seems like in government and business and education, women are taking lead roles. I think there will be more and more women in important leadership roles. And I think we all have something unique that we can contribute to the world. My vision and my hope for the future of women is that they are socially and economically free, that they're able to choose what they want to do because they're passionate about it, because that's where their skill set is, because that's what they enjoy doing every day. Women have such an important role in our culture. But we have a long way to go. Pick up the phone, send a text. Be sure to honor the women in your life this month and every month.